Welcome back. The Namibia Rural Women's Assembly is showcasing their work at this year's Vintage Agricultural and Industrial Show, highlighting the contributions of rural women within the different regions. And joining us this evening to tell us about the assembly and their endeavors is Ms. Karen Chikalepo. She's the regional coordinator for the Commerce region and uh, plays a pivotal role in this initiative. I'm sure her insights will provide valuable perspective on the challenges and of course opportunities faced by rural women in Namibia. Ms. Karen, good uh, evening and thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you very much and thank you to have me here. Just to start with, perhaps you can tell us a bit about uh, the rural, Namibia Rural Women's Assembly. Tell yeah, us, yeah. give us a bit of a background. Yeah, yeah. Namibia Rural Women's Assembly so, uh, is an organization yeah, for women living in rural area. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, it is objectives uh, is to advocate and strengthening rural women through knowledge, building, and training of social and entrepreneurial skills. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we also concentrate on to empower rural women through capacity building and mobilization and engage them uh, about the issue affecting their daily life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So we also aim network with our stakeholder as we are here so that we have met a, a different uh, organization uh, some they do exactly what we are also doing mm -hmm. but without knowing that to her so this was really a, a learning process yes yes mm -hmm. talk to us about the uh, projects or initiatives uh, that are you know highlighted by your assembly so our assembly eh, the most imp uh, the most impactful and beneficiary initiative implemented by our organization are to mention, I'm just going to mention some few, okay. not all. So uh, holding a regular training, workshop, uh, conferences mm -hmm. um, uh, within Namibia and we are also engaged with uh, the Sanda countries. They are also our counterparts. Mm -hmm. So in Sanda region, when mm -hmm. it comes to the... Mm, mm -hmm. mm. So, um, uh, and we are focusing mostly on like uh, training our people on gardening, backyard gardening, so, so that they will be able to sustain the, uh, the so and the security, uh, and security initiatives such as learning mm -hmm. how to set up the, 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 the yeah, their, their backyard, never mind which is a backyard garden or is just a proper garden uh, okay. where we encourage them to do things in the group. Mm. So let's say now, okay, uh, as we say, we are rural women living in the villages and, and farms. So oh. mostly we work with the, with the, with the traditional leaders uh -huh. who are the, they are controlling the land. Right, right. So right. at least to, 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 to give us land allocated to the women so that at least they come up with the with the, mm -hmm. with the with the with the food. So because we are experiencing a lot of problems special from the COVID nineteen mm. and then also the, 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 the drought. Huh? So whereby we find ourselves that okay they lost the a lot of their stocks. Mm. Yeah they mm. lost the farming and all those things so yeah basically we 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 but we also train them on social problem mm -hmm. uh, like on gender-based violence so that they can also know their rights yes yeah yeah so uh, what is right to them and to say no what is wrong to them yes, yes, being yes. a woman does not uh, does not just mean that okay you are a woman you cannot say anything mm -hmm. so yeah we concentrate also for them to training them to know their light, uh, yes. their, 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 their rights yeah, as human beings as well. What are some of the challenges that women in the rural areas face, Makaran? Yeah, the, the, most, uh, the most challenges that we are facing in the rural, uh, in the rural area is the unemployment. Most of them, they are not working. Mm. Yeah, and then we... Uh, the education also they don't have uh, proper education right yeah uh, also they don't have um, uh, skills to develop uh, to develop their 
they are, you know, we have our local materials that we, we, develop, uh, we have. So in order for them, they need also to be, uh, to be trained on how to, like the uh, local materials, yeah, to, to recycle them yes. uh, and then add value so that they will be able to, 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 to sell mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, mm -hmm. in the proper market. Mm -hmm. So they can put, uh, they can put maybe a price yeah, that at least they can make, uh, they can make, uh, they can make, they can make, they can make profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah those are the yeah, yeah the land issue is also a very big challenge for us, and also uh, when it comes also for farming, mm -hmm. as I mentioned before, that okay, uh, most of our women they are also farm uh, farmers. Though they are not okay, farms with maybe big, uh, with a big, sto uh, of big stock. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, with a little small, or uh, like maybe goats and sheep. Uh, yeah. So uh, it, they, it is not enough for them to, to sustain mm -hmm. them, they, themselves. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I want to ask about, of course, you mentioned that you train a woman within the rural areas as well to be able to sustain themselves, whether it's in agriculture or whatever. Are there any success stories that you can tell us about? <laughs> yeah, there is, a, there is a success story of uh, one of our members. Mm -hmm. So she used to sell this fat cake. Yeah, this traditional yeah. one. Uh, so meat like matangalas. Mm. And then... Uh, yeah, all of this uh, and porridge, uh, just uh, just uh, formal porridge. So, and then uh, for her, so long that okay, she go to uh, basically she used to sell at wherever the site for people building mm -hmm. those big buildings. Right, right. So right. she prepare in the morning, the children to go to school. She come and do the selling. After she's done to sell her products, so long that okay, she know okay today I have a. Uh, I got this much, mm -hmm. and then is enough for the bread for my for the bread of my uh, my, 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 my children, children at yeah. home, and maybe I also le uh, had a leftover of food that were not uh, that they can have at, at right, night. Right, right. So, and then uh, there was uh, a time that okay, the Minister of Education, Art and Culture, Division of Adult Education and the Community Development, uh, uh, they were training in entrepreneurship. And that training was done at Kurot um, uh, Obu. Mm. So, whereby also that uh, this particular lady, she got a chance to, to, go to, to, the the yeah, to go to the training. So, when she went to the training, so uh, there was a topic on uh, pricing and costing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and how to come up with the price of a specific, uh, specific item. Right. So, like maybe she's selling fat cook. So there's indirect cost yes. and direct cost. Yes. So the first book, the lady, she says she was selling them to two dollar. So counting now the 10 kg of mm. the flour mm. that she's making, the price. And then uh, she don't calculate that okay, but when she go and buy the flour, <laughs> she, she, she take taxi. Yes. And then when she come back home, then now she's preparing to make the fat cake. Then with this fat cake also, there is uh, cooking oil. Yes. And the <laughs> wood also that she's getting and she's buying them. Yes, yes, yes. And then that one, and uh, uh, that one, she never thought of those. Mm. Which are, okay, maybe when she come up with the price uh, of a certain product, uh, so she has also. And then after the training, she realized that the most item that made her to lose is the fat cook. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because yes. she did not calculate Include the cooking oil, the as I costs. mentioned. Yes. She did not also cal 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 calculate the, 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 the wood that she's mm -hmm. doing. And all this taxi when she got yes, to the shop. Yes, and, yes. Uh, so, and then one day she was, uh, she was even now telling the, the, the group that. Uh, so uh, sometimes uh, I see the, the cooking oil uh, in our location is $25. But in town there, in Shoprite, is only eighteen dollar or something. <laughs> so you take then she, yeah, she take the yeah, yeah. <laughs> imagine now it's almost a hundred dollars yes. to come from Crude Oak 
to shop right yes, in town yes. to buy that cooking oil. Mm. So she started even sometimes she loved herself that oh, <laughs> could I really be like this that I could oh things that I could have that's wonderful. Myself, but okay, yeah. thank you. So that really helped her yeah, it helped day, to fix her uh, price. The way she was yes. also like uh, giving her testimony. Yeah. Others also learned from her. Mm -hmm. And good. then now <laughs> the the others the colleagues they used to 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 to, to, to taste it. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, fat cook, <laughs> cooking oil. <laughs> yeah. Megaron, we appreciate your time. Thank yeah. you so much for joining okay. us uh, this you. evening. Thank and, you. And uh, we wish you all the best with your time here at the Vintage Showgrounds. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Well, that was uh, Megaron speaking to us. She's uh, the regional coordinator for Commerce Region for the Namibia Rural Women's Association. They're also here at the Vintic Showgrounds. And of course, if you do come past uh, by their store, they are selling a variety of traditional clothes for adults and children. Please do support their cause. We'll be right back after this. Stay with us.